you complete me. He said it. He said it. He said it already for me. You, you complete me. You complete me. I love it. I love the Tom Cruise. Some people hate him. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching the Logan Tyler Nelson show. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. So, guys. All right. This is awesome because I got a great tip of the day. It's about making your art something that you can actually do and make money at it. So, how do you do that? Oh, there are so many ways to doing it. But... I'm going to show you the things that I've discovered through being an artist, the ways that I think in order to really become the best artist you can be, you got to do a few things first. First of all, you got to go through the training. If you got an idea about being a, be a better actor, you got to go to school, you got to take theater classes, film classes, you got to join a play. If you want to be a writer, you got to practice. If you want more insight on this, read So Good They Can't Ignore You. It's a great book by Cal Newhart. And it's so good because if you become so good at what you're doing and you're the most unique person you can be, there's no such thing as competition. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is only you. So you're going to get better at it. The next thing I want to touch base on is you got to... You gotta pursue it seriously. If you're gonna do it, if you're gonna go and, and try out this new art and, and possibly quit a job that is reliable, that's gonna give you income, it's gonna bring you the ching, it's gonna bring you in the the bacon, you know, uh, you've got to take it seriously because you're giving off something else, you're sacrificing something. And to pursue your art, it's all about trade-offs. You do not need seven hours a day to do your art. Really, you could probably keep your full-time job and still do your art on the side for like an hour. That's actually another thing. If you want to make money doing your art, doing what you really love, take just an hour a day and pursue it seriously. It's all you need. Most entrepreneurs that I know that are artists as well actually tell me a little secret they're like straight up I only get to I only get to act like an hour a day or I only get to write like an hour a day I don't I, I only get to play music like an hour a day I only get to draw like an hour a day but around that I, I'm setting up trying to get new jobs I'm trying to publish my work I'm trying to get my wor work out there and share it to the world or I go to my daytime job you know, so you can do any full-time career and actually pursue your art at the same time. Another thing I want to touch base on is, is you know, don't worry about if it doesn't sell right away. Don't worry about if you have bad art or if you suck at acting, if you suck at writing, if you suck at music. There's this little secret, though. Is the reason why you started doing it is because you were inspired by something. You loved the product, right? You, you saw a movie and you're like, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be Leonardo DiCaprio because the way he, he takes Rose and, and he sacrifices his life, you know, I want to be that great actor that does that in a movie and, and I think you'd be so amazing to do that. All right, I'll stop acting now and I'll be real with you. Uh, if you want to be that great actor that's in a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, you got to pursue it with dedication. You got to pursue it. You got to keep going, keep going, keep going. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Do not compare yourself to anybody. Don't. Uh, look at a musician that's 15 years old that's got this fame and this, this celebrity that's earning all this money. Just be okay with being where you're at within your art because everyone has a different journey for making money, doing what they love. The way you get good at only doing an hour of 
good art a day is by having daily rituals. Each day you set up a schedule, you know, an hour from three to four, because I always have from three to four to do this art. I'm going to go after it. I'm going to go after it and I'm going to prepare, but not so much that I don't even do my art anymore. You know what? There's this great thing that Elizabeth Gilbert talks about is show up before you're prepared. Just show up. That's half of doing the work. It's not about perfection at first. It's not even about perfection at all. What you want to do is get in love with the process of being messy, being chaotic. You know, the reason why I'm doing these videos that aren't professionally done, they're just done by myself on my phone, and that's the only tools I have, but I'm doing them because I want to get this word out there. Person that wants to share his ideas. And I'm showing up before I'm prepared. I don't have everything perfect. Everything isn't perfect in this video, but that's okay. Because at least I'm here doing the work. And the same thing can go for you with writing, with 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 doing your music, with with acting. You can just get into any group and just keep yourself showing up every single day. Then you don't have to have motivation because if you do it every day, it's a habit. And that's the last thing I want to talk about. Thank you guys for always watching this video and taking the time out of your day. Just remember you are enough. And you too can make your art something that you solely make money off of. Guys, peace out. Boy Scout and Girl Scout. Oh, you said my last video. You gotta do something new. Just, just remember, you're enough. See ya.